So, hello everyone, and welcome to the episode 11 of the Artisan Workshop modding series. And in this episode, we will try to load a UI sprite next to the... Um, we will try to load UI sprite into the UI we created for the combat in the previous episode. And to do that, we will start by looking at the official documentation. So this is the official modding documentation for Bannerlord. And creating UI sprites is actually one of the very few things they have documented here. So we will try to follow um, this guide they have made for creating UI sprites. The first thing we need is the actual file for our sprite. And to do that, I want to get an image of of the item that we created. And to get a nice nice image for the item, uh, I think it makes sense to go into the editor. So in the editor, we get a better view of the item with nice background that we can use to create our UI sprite. So let's go into the resource browser. And look at the artisan beer mesh. And here we can use this atmosphere to change the background. And if we look for something that looks relatively neutral, neutral like this one, uh, POD9 semi cloudy, this way we can get a nice clean sprite of our image with a background that will be easy to remove. So let's just copy this and open. You can take a screenshot and then let's go into GIMP. And GIMP will be our image manipulation software. So let's paste this in and use the magic wand. I need to increase the threshold a bit. So let's use the magic wand. To just delete the background. You see there is very small um sorry there's very small uh amount of background left. So let me increase the selection radius a bit and then get rid of it for the most part. Maybe it's not perfect but I don't care too much at the moment. And this will be our sprite so we need to export this now I will go ahead and export this into mods, artisan beer asset originals, and this will be artisan beer uh, sprite. And then now we have our image, so we are ready to actually follow this guide. So let's go into asset originals and copy our, our PNG file. So let's see what this says. It says to put, it says to create under GUI folder named sprite parts. So let's go into our module inside the Bannerlord directory and inside GUI, let's create folder named sprite parts. And now we need another folder called UI underscore your category name. So let's call my category artisan beer. And inside this folder, you can put your sprites. So we copy artisans, artisan beer sprite here in GUI sprite parts UI artisan beer. So the next step we need to figure out is how the UI sprites are actually loaded. So there are two options here um, for loading UI sprites. So either loading manually from the code or always loading your UI sprites. And let's say that right now I'm really lazy and I just want to always load I just want to always load my UI sprites. So to do that, I can create config like this. So it says to create new XML file config.xml under your module name GUI sprite parts if you want to always load your UI sprites. So let's go here and create new XML called config.xml. 
and this will make it so that my my UI sprites are always loaded and I don't need to worry about loading and unloading them manually. Now that we have the config, we can actually create the sprite sheets and, and to do that we need to go into this directory and find sprite sheet generator.x and run that program. So let's go into let's go into bin uh, win64 shipping with editor and let's find sprite sheet generator. So tailworlds.2dimension.spritesheetgenerator.x and let's just run this. Let's see what it says. It says it found UI category, UI artist and beer, and it generated sprite sheets for this UI category and completed. So now we should have our generated sprite sheets. But one more thing we can go check to see what that what the sprite sheet generator actually did is that we can go into GUI and look at this file that was generated called artisan beer sprite data. And here you can see the names for our sprites. And this might be useful if you have multiple if you have more sprites and you're kind of confused what sprites were generated. And then actually everything is ready and we can just use our sprite. And here is uh, one example. Here is one example prefab where they use image widget to draw a sprite. So we can just copy this. For our own code, and we can actually even let's even copy the this widget here. The widget is just a wrapper. So let's go into our um, odd definition, which is here inside GUI prefabs and artist and beer HUD, and let's put this widget here with the image widget, and let's put. Uh, our text widget, which has the text for the beer amount, also inside the widget children. The widget is widget is the most basic container that can just have multiple children without any layouting. Um, and you will soon see why this is slightly problematic that we don't have any layouting. But this will draw an image with size 128, 128. We can put, let's put also horizontal alignment left and vertical alignment top. And we need to update the sprite name. And the sprite name will be artisan beer sprite. Okay, and now we can go into game and just see if this is actually working at all. Let's try to find a battle and see what do we do here. So you see that we actually managed to draw the sprite. So the sprite is loaded and renders just fine. But you now see what it means that we have no layouting at all. So the both, both of these items, both of these uh, UI widgets are just drawn as is to the top left corner. So we need to have some sort of layouting that will so uh, let's let's draw first the mug here, the mug sprite here, and then let's try to do some sort of layouting thing. We'll put the text next to this. So to do that, we will need to change the UI definition and replace this widget with something a bit smarter. And also, I think this is uh, a bit too large. So let me, the image is a bit too large, I think. So let's make it 80 by 80. That might be more appropriate size. And we don't actually need this horizontal alignment stuff, I don't think. Because we can we can actually put this uh, to the container here. So 
but we need some sort of more intelligent layouting. So let's go into Ripcrap and try to do try to search for layout. And we get a bunch of results with list panel. And list panel is like the workhorse of layouting, which just lays UI elements in order. So for example, here you have layout method horizontal left to right, which sounds pretty good, right? So let's just try to copy this, I think. So let's try to replace our widget with a list panel uh, with layouting horizontal left to right. And um, let me let me keep the horizontal alignment stuff. Let me keep the horizon. Let me keep the alignment stuff. I still want it to be in the top left corner. Let's do width size policy cover children height size policy cover children. We need to because we changed this widget. We need to also change. Is to match and now um, if we look at a bit more context for the context for this so let's go context 3 you can see that list panels also have children and they can have multiple children and they will be laid out so in this case you have layout method vertical bottom to top and then you have a couple text widgets which will be laid uh, on top of each other. We want horizontal. So that should be fine for us. And actually we want vertical alignment center, I think. Because I would want to have I would like to have the text um in the middle. I would like to have the text in the middle of the right vertically. So let's just try what this will look like. So, should I try to see... Well, I think this should be reloaded. So if I just uh, exit and go back in, let's do... If I just exit and go back in, I think it will reload it without me restarting the game. And you see it actually did reload it without me restarting the game. So the XMLs are loaded again. If you exit and come back into the battle. And you see that we managed to do the layouting correctly. And we now have our we now have our UI sprite. We have the UI sprite sheet. And everything seems to be working just fine. And we got our first taste of actually doing layouting in the layouting in the content UI. So in our movie definition we now have very basic layout list panel horizontal left to right. So as I was editing this episode for YouTube I noticed that I forgot to do a small change here. So this is visible should now go onto the list panel our top level widget but we I left it here just on the text widget. What this causes is that when we go to a battle where we're not supposed to have the UI, uh, we will still draw the right. But I also remembered one other thing. So if you go into your console and type UI set debug mode 1, that will actually enable um, hot reloading for the UI. But you have to do it before you enter the battle in this case, or before the movie is loaded. So if we now do our edit here, so if we move the is visible onto the list panel where it is supposed to be, and save this file, you can see that the view here is updated immediately. So that can help you reduce your iteration time when you are working on the UI. Now with this fix, our movie XML is looking pretty good. And that is all for this episode. So in the next episode, I will try to complete this um, mission view that we have going, the healing effect thing, by doing one last quality of life improvement, which is adding sound effects, and then 
the healing part of the project is done. But for now, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.